there's 10 gobs all surrounding me, yeah? It's because he's so small, he's managed to slide through all of them. Come right in front of my face like that, while all the gobs are holding me like this. <laughs> Boom! 90% <laughs> of people that was in prison smoked spice. There was a there was a spice pandemic. A guy that was in the wheelchair that I thought was disabled got out of his wheelchair, took the wheel off his wheelchair and started hitting me with it <laughs> while I was on the floor. <laughs> You versus Ed Matthews, MMA fight, what round would you win? MMA fight? Yeah. Yeah, he's done. They have to have like paramedics on standby, at least like four ambulances. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Blue Tick Show. Opposite me today, I've got part two with Funny Man Gully. Welcome to the show, my brother. Yeah, we're here, man. Listen, back bro. Again, part two. <laughs> everyone wanted you back. Yeah. Apparently you're funny. I, I don't know why they think you're funny, bro. <laughs> but listen, we're here. Bring that mic a bit closer. Let's throw it straight back to the point. Let's dive straight into it, bro. Everyone was talking about when you're running through back home with some sort of weapon in your hand. AK forty seven. <laughs> bro, what happened? So basically my grandma used to build houses in it. And then what happened was we used to make bricks in it with um through like cement, obviously everyone knows like you make it with water as well. But water don't run through taps where I'm where I was from. At the, now it probably does. Obviously it's two twenty four, but this is two ten in Somalia, bro. You get me? We're talking about donkeys and what do you call them? The, the water water buckets and that. That's we used to have tanks of water basically, yeah. And these kids used to play football, and at the end of the football match, they would run and jump in the tanks of water. But there was always security there, so they didn't get much luck with it. And then one day, obviously, there was no security. My grandma was in a rush and she's looked at me. I remember, and she said, and I thought I was in trouble. And then she just called me into our room. I walked in and then she just, she said, go under the bed and uh, pull out something for me. And I went under the bed. I said, the only thing that's there is that. She said, yeah, then pull it out then. I pulled it out. She told me, yeah, you get me, you're going to have to protect the, um, you get me? The, the building. The, the, the houses, yeah, the mansions that, that that was being built. I was gassed. I was like, yeah. And she was like, hang on, hang on. She took it off me. Get me, she took the clip out, the magazine, and she gave it to me. It was empty, innit? And yeah, obviously, I was walking around with this empty AK-47, thinking I was the biggest bad man that existed on the world, bro. You get me? And then these youths, they come over, and they basically jumped in the... Um, they know they were coming towards to do, jump in the tank. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I had the thing. And I is that like, how, is that how you were holding it like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it was. Just, I think I had the rope, and I was trying to hold the top bit, and I was just running with it. I don't even think I had my hat and my finger on the trigger. Like I think I was just struggling carrying it itself. Yeah, and then one of the, they all ran off because they saw the wrap. But then one of them stopped, turned round, he looked, he clocked, and he snitched. And then they all turned back around. And they all just started running at me. I've tried to turn around. I think there was a rock. And then I twisted and I fell over. And then, yeah, they just started kicking my head in. And yeah, we had to go get the, I think we, I think they took the strap. My head was bust. <laughs> yeah, I had a few things, yeah. What did your grandma say when she come over so that you were smashed up? Yeah, it's just that nod. What happened when a, when a, when a strap was missing? Obviously, basically she's pulled up. She's like, what happened? I told her. She just gave me this look like disappointment. Yeah, you're not about you're not you're not about this. Like basically, you know, when they just look when someone gives you that look, you just go, you're, you're not about this. And then she just called a bunch of my cousins. Just came. We went to every single yard. We went into every single yard. You get me. Uh, parents had to come out. They had to pay homage. You get me because obviously down there is different to down here. Like. You know, more time we don't really get police involved. Because a lot of the comments were complaining, saying, oh, bruv, you don't pay for, why are people paying? They beat you up, why are they paying? I'm not sure if you saw all the comments. People were cussing, saying, like, why are they paying for? Yeah, for my injuries, bruv. I, I think I had a bus head. <laughs> I had, I think my teeth were still there, but my nose was gone. I think I had, like, a black eye. Did they break your nose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were busting me up. How many times has your bro's nose been but broken? Time, you see in Somalia, yeah, we don't fist fight, innit? Yeah, we we do a thing called sabahads, which okay. is like takedowns. It's like so wrestling. It's like, yeah, so so like over here, people will just get their fist up and they'll start fighting each other, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought when I went there, but it turned out it wasn't that. That wasn't the case. You know, as soon as you swing, 
they will find a way to dodge the punch, but then they would they will focus on taking you down at the same time. So it was takedowns. That's what they call sabahad. So they can make you do back flicks, front flicks. So you were just getting dropped all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, just getting flicked up, dashed, flicked up, dashed, trying to get back up. But they were letting me get back up. So they were just taking. So they, yeah, yeah. Because there was a bunch of them, and they know how to do sabahad, didn't it? Do you know how to do it now? Yeah, I learned it. Yeah, I'm actually quite good at it. Yeah. So when people have scraps with you in the UK, would you just drop them? Yeah, try to drop them. Yeah, that's if they don't get the banging before, innit? Otherwise, you go and sleep, innit? That's <laughs> if you're fighting some hench guy or something. But I don't know. And the worst thing is, is trying to do it to someone that's actually like your size. It would be more difficult for me to do it to you. Yeah, but you're a big guy, bro. You're yeah, not yeah, small. I know, but some of the takedowns I do is like, so I grab you and then I'll I'll try and pick you and then dash you, but I will throw you like sideways. Yeah. And then I'll call and get on top of you. So we're both on the floor, but it's whoever gets up first. And gets, but more time, it's me that's going to get up. But if you're heavy, you land. It happened to me a few times. I just land on top of me. <laughs> While I try to throw them that way, they'll, they'll fall on top of me, innit? So, yeah, they'll get me in, yeah. Well, but look, one thing you said is you said your nose got bust, yeah? Yeah. We just done a podcast. We're not going to say who because we don't want to say it depending on which episode comes out yeah. first. But it just seems like your nose gets bust <laughs> on a regular. <laughs> How many times you had a bro- small it is as well. I don't know how they aim is. <laughs> how many yeah, times you had to be <laughs> their aims was- look how small this my nose is, bro. The hell bro. Why can't anything else on my face get touched, bro? <laughs> how many- and I was about to talk about my nose getting broken again. How many what, another time? Do you know when we ended the show? Yeah. And I was telling you about the paddies. Yeah, yeah. That that that, that thingy. So and then we, we stopped it there and then you go, Oh, we're gonna have part to Part two, yeah, 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 yeah. This is another incident when my nose got broken. All right, let's go I talk about my mum's life. <laughs> Wallahi, I'm not lying. Listen, basically, look. So, there was these youths that were next door to me and they basically asked to borrow my phone, innit? Yeah? I've given them my phone and their cell got spanned. This is in prison now, yeah? Yeah, this was in prison. So, their phone got taken. Yeah, this was in, I think it was in Bedford. Their phone got taken, but basically, they lied to me and said both phones were taken, but both phones weren't. Because I found that, when I told them, because I'm a paranoid guy, innit? I told them, listen, if your if the phone got taken, you were getting nicking. They got a nicking for one of them, but they never got a nicking for the other. And rumours were around the wing that they were trying to mug me off, innit? So as I'm going down the staircase to find these kids, I've gone into their cell, but they're not there. And then I've gone down the staircase and I can just hear someone screaming for myself. Yeah. They must have been robbing someone in that cell, someone that had like some weed and some phones or whatever. They've gone in that cell to rob him. And then I could hear thingy, but there was a geezer stood outside, so I kind of ignored it and went, oh, I'll just fight. I'll catch them like another time, innit, yeah? Because it was getting bait and I thought the gubs were going to come anyway. And then I saw one of them. He, I think he was coming up the staircase or something like that. I managed to get him in a cell and I just started rocking with him. And then he ran out of the cell. And as I've chased him, the gubs have come out. All the gubs are grabbing me, yeah? So all the gubs are grabbing him, but they're grabbing me as well. Yeah. This pad, this Irish guy, he's like flipping, but he, he's like this high. He's short. Yeah. But there's ten gobs, all surrounding me. Yeah. He managed because he's so small. He's managed to slide through all of them. Yeah. Like that, like a little snake. Yeah. <laughs> Come right in front of my face like that, while all the gobs are holding me like this. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Oh my, swear to God. And managed to get out of it as well and not get bent up and actually move quick. And then they all, they, all the guns are so shocked with how fast he moved and got out of the situation that they, they were over, they just said, bang up. They did, he was so awake, like he, he slid in and slid out. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, like that, boom, and then went out and got off. And then boom, and then the guns are like, yeah. But, and they, they took me to the, bro, it gets more interesting. I get to the, you know the healthcare unit? Yeah. I'm in the cell. My, obviously, when he broke this, this is when I knew my nose was broken, innit? Yeah? Because you know, when you get your nose broken, you've got two black eyes. Yeah, yeah. I've come out of the cell to get my food, innit? I, I, but my eyes are not fully opening. I can see someone. And this guy is a very famous guy. Who was Duppy it? from N-Dubs. Okay, yeah, yeah. He was on the healthcare unit. No, no, no. I'm just seeing things, yeah? Because obviously, I can't open my eyes fully, innit? Is that him? And then I was like, Obviously, I didn't want to embarrass myself or just thinking yeah, it might just be someone else. I've gone into the cell. He's next door to me. I banged on his wall or something. I said, you're, you're dappy, isn't it? Are, are you dappy? And he's like, nah, nah, nah. Out of the window, yeah? I was like, blood, no way, bro. That's how much damage he's done to my nose that I, I couldn't tell whether that was dappy from N-Dubs or not. That was a violation, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. 
And I used to listen to his music. That you done damage on me, I swear. But why did it always smash up your nose? Know, why is man. it always yeah, your yeah, nose, no, bro? Man, it's pee. <laughs> no, it's pee. But how many times they broke your nose now? Bro, I got my nose broken bare times. I swear down. And, and bro, it was just peak, bro. And then obviously I went from that jail, Bedford, and then I've landed in um, um, Peterborough. Now nah, this story is nuts, man. I swear down. Yeah, it's crazy this story. Obviously, man ain't really got beef with none of these youths anymore. We was young G's. I was like, I think I was like 19, 20 yeah. maybe. No, what was that? How old was I? Twenty one. This is going back like years ago, isn't it? Um. So obviously, like I said on part one, so I'm not hiding anything. I, I was burning rice, innit? Like, you know, um, and there was a pandemic. I seen I seen your reaction up south to it, saying that I've been jailed three times and I never burned rice. Well, you can ask most man that are around my age, yeah, that went to jail, 90% of people that was in prison smoked spice. There was a, there was a spice ag- a- academic. Pandemic. Yeah? Pandemic, pandemic, yeah. <laughs> academic or pandemic, yeah. Academic. Whatever, yeah. So, boom. So these times, yeah, man's burning this rice. And obviously, I've mixed it with loud, innit? Because I've burned loud as well. And I didn't know at the time, this jail never had any... Um, the event, like there was a drought in the jail. Yeah. So I've landed, I'm on the landing, running a, running a, running a zoo. And this guy's come up to me, big yardy man. You get me, got dreads, whatever. And he goes to me, um, can I get, um, oh, but he comes up to me, say, yo, Ak, you got loud. Cause obviously it's thinking. Of, yeah, of, of weed, isn't it? So I'm like, yeah. I was like, obviously I'm just burning. I said, and he goes, yo, let me get, he goes, but there's no loud in this jail, you know? I was like, yeah, that's because I come from the next jail, isn't it? And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, boom, boom, boom. Then, obviously, I can't remember what he was talking about. This is years ago. He, he, he took two twos on the zoo. These times, he's gone off, and then he's come back. He's like, yo, what did you give me? <laughs> obviously, these times, yeah, I couldn't help, but I laughed. I went, F-. I said, yo, there was rice in it. These times, he was one of them guys that didn't burn rice, and he was probably against that, whatever. He said, bro, you know what? He, was, he looked so vexed, but yeah. he said, you know what? Because you're an ak and you're like a Muslim and that, yeah? Man's just going to like allow it, innit? So I'm like, all right, cool, yeah, bless. Yeah, that's safe, innit, yeah? I was like, oh, that was a close one. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's then, about, then I gradually started to find out who this guy was while I was at, there prison, on my yeah. stay. This guy ran the jail. Oh, for real? Yeah, I swear to God, book. he actually ran the jail. Like him and his boys. But he was like, you could tell he was one of the main guys. He ran the jail, yeah? Couple of weeks go down the line, I was chilling with one Asian new that was in a, in a cell, and obviously I was chilling with him. But we lived in separate cells, and I used to go to his cell all the time. And he he had a really bad habit on it, yeah, really bad habit. He, he was getting himself into quite a lot of debt over this. Obviously, um, I'm obviously just on the landing, chilling one day. This is weeks down the line. I just heard screaming coming from his cell. Yeah, the kid that was in bed there, and I just knew. His time was up now, like, he's getting beat up. These times, I was surprised to come out of the cell. Obviously, it was my man, but he never used to, like, getting into, like, trouble or he would just send people out. But he, we, I, I just wasn't expecting him to go and, do you know what I mean? Like, do the dirty work himself. Yeah, do the dirty work himself. So I was thinking, okay, cool. Now, obviously, I'm not thinking anything of it, yeah? I've just gone to one of my bridging cells. I think it was the same day. I'm in the cell and... um these times, I think I'm like just I um I had a, I had an iPhone in my pocket and I had a I had a Zanko just on the table, and and obviously he comes in, and he's like, oh he he comes in with two guys now he comes in with one guy I swear to God this guy was a flipping big don like yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying like basically J Moss but like short version. Do you know what I mean? Like, just yeah. massive, bro. A big lump. Yeah, they used to call him... Um, I don't even want to say his name, actually. Do you know what I mean? But they, they, he, he got a name for this, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He come in, and this and the skinny guy, but and then and this and this other guy, yeah? But he was big. The guy that, that was running the job, he was big. He was quite tall. They come in my cell, and they say, yo, um, let me use your phone. These times I look, I'm going, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not thinking nothing of it. Do you know what I mean? I think they've used my phone my phones before. Like, So I'm not thinking nothing of it. He's used my phone, and then obviously I've turned around, and as I've turned around, I've turned back around, the guy's putting it in his sock. I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, yeah, basically, I'm taking your phone, yeah, uh, for that thing that you done to man a couple of weeks ago, and uh, basically, if you're not, um, if you're not gonna say something now, forever hold your peace. Yeah. So I've looked. 
I go, nah, nah, it's blessed, man. Bless, bless, love. Yeah, yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Come on. <laughs> I was going to give it to you anyway. <laughs> yeah. So these lot left the show, yeah. These times, obviously me, I told you on my last show, like, you get me, I, 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 I'm not going to lie, I'm a, I'm a, bro, when it comes to people in jail, they use weapons, whatever, I was a dick back then, and I went straight away, I'm going to I'm gonna flash this guy in it, like, in my head, I'm thinking, he, he it's going to happen, he it, yeah, it. yeah, because obviously I felt violated, and after that, I felt like people was going to try it with me after as well, thinking that man's a waste man, so, and I, I just couldn't, I had too much ego and pride in me, innit, so I've gone downstairs, I filled up the flask, um, I'm going to tell you why I'm so lucky it was a flask in a minute, yeah? Obviously, I've come out. I've gone to these myself. Now, this, these, these wings in this jail... This video is sponsored by Cranbrook Law, an award-winning immigration law firm. Their talented solicitors can help when any struggles arise regarding immigration law. They can help get you the visas they need. They can help get you the staff you need from any other countries. As you can see, the website is on the screen right now. So if you need anything to do with immigration law, message Cranbrook Law and let them help you. Whether you're looking to obtain a sponsor license, receive advice and guidance in relation to compliance and our civil penalties, or take advantage of our know-how and experience across a broad range of business visas, our talented and dynamic immigration lawyers are available to speak to you. Telephone numbers on the screen, emails on the screen, and hit the link in the bio if you need any help. It was so vago this jail that it was run by a private company. And okay, like yeah. they I don't know, but it was just a very unsafe prison. Very, very unsafe. I'm talking about the safety to this prison was like someone can get M'd and probably won't get found out days. Like that's how crazy this jail was. There was no checkups. There was hardly anything. What if you wanted to was talk this? to this was Peter Bar. Okay. If you wanted to talk to a gov, you had to like push the buzz uh, button and talk um, in a in an intercom. In, in, in an intercom. You hardly see them. They, and if they were on the wing, they were mainly in the office. They wouldn't come out interact with no prisoners. But the, it was just an unsafe thing. Like they used to leave the prisoners in charge. Basically, put it that way, innit? Like, they used to tell the people outside, yeah, yeah, we in charge. Yeah, yeah, of course. But as soon as they walk in, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I knew there was bare corruption going on. Way too much, bro. Like, I'm not stupid, in it. Like, I could see. You know what I'm saying? I got eyes in it. You get me? So obviously, um, everyone used to come from different wings and and interact. So like, you know, like if we're in a normal jail, like you couldn't go from one wing to the other for security reasons. Yeah, yeah? yeah. they wouldn't just let you. you this one, go. everyone. Yeah, free yeah, flow. yeah. You can't just go. Only free flow. We'd see each other and that, but you wouldn't be able to go from one wing to another, right? This jail, you was able to go from wing to wing. Like, do you know what I mean? You could just go to the gate and say, yeah, "Gov, yeah. open the gate." They open the gate. You can go to another wing. Now these men lived in like a four-man pad, so the the cell was massive. They used to have all their boys come from other wings onto the wing. So I've come to the uh, door, and knocked on the door, and I've gone. Uh, obviously, they've opened. It. They've seen me. Obviously, I've just clocked how many men was in the room. It's like twenty, bro. <laughs> yeah. They're like, "What do you want?" One of them's pulled me and just pulled me into the cell. They're like, "What do you want, bro?" All of them are just surrounding me like this. I was like, yo, act like, yeah, chill, chill. I was just coming to speak to my man. They were like, yo, what do you want to speak about? I said, oh, basically, I didn't pay for it. Just before that, I spoke to a couple of Asian youths that I actually got the bought the phone off. But they were telling me, listen, because they liked the man. They said, just tell them the money didn't go in and that the phone doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us. They're cool with us. They're going to run it back to us. So I said, cool. But at the same time, I was thinking, they're not gonna listen to that, bruv. Yeah. yeah. And if you if that was the case, you guys would have just went there and took got it for me. Like you're not gonna tell me to go in there to tell them that 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 just sounds stupid, bro. Did you have the flask with you? Yeah, well? I had the flask in my hand. But luckily it was a flask because they didn't think anything of it. They just thought, oh, he's just walking around with his tea and his flask. They're not gonna think he's coming into hot water, my man. But if it was a kettle, I would. They would have been like, why has he got a kettle in his hand <laughs> walking into a cell? Like, I would have got, bruv. I probably would not have come out of that cell alive. Like that's how many big guys were in the room. Like the, all of them looked like they went gym. Do you get what I'm saying? So I was lucky with that. And then they were like, oh, what do you Why want? Why didn't you just start doing your little wrestling moves on all of them? Nah, I won that. Nah, I Yeah, so boom, he tells me, yeah, boom. So I tell him that story. He goes to me, all right then, the money didn't go in, yeah? Gives me my own phone and goes, because obviously they're all surrounding me. I can't get out of the cell. Yeah. It? It gives me my own phone and said, call your boy, innit? Tell him to pay for it, innit? So then I was like, these times, I think I, I think, I think I, I had some dough for them already. Um, these youths that was uh, no, some youths I had dough for anyway. That you know, what I'm saying? I think it was a little fifty pound or something. Yeah. So I called my boy and said, "Yo, did you do it? Yeah." He goes, "Oh, now nah, I'm gonna deal with it today." I said, "All right, safe." Oh, he's getting done, but it wasn't that. What was getting done? Did you get I, that was my phone. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. paying for that. Yeah. So I didn't get out. Yeah. 
So I got out of the cell. You kept the phone, yeah? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I gave it back to him because obviously there was too many of them. I said, just let me out of the cell. So I've left. I've gone to the pool table. I'm still with the flask. Yeah. He's come out with his vest on, just walking like this and that. I said, f*** this. I just opened the lid, ran at him. I, I tapped him on the shoulder, threw in his face. I grabbed him by his dreads. I started licking him. He started banging me out as well. He was banging me out. Next minute, you know, left, right, centre. They all started coming at me. Do you get what I mean now? Yeah. Now they're banging me. Obviously, one of them caught a couple of bangs on me. I've run, run into the laundry room. Now, this is when the govs come at the same time. So the govs are now run over. The govs are trying to get in between them. Luckily, they saved me because I was the only person locked into the, um, the, laundry, room. the laundry room. But one of them got their toe jammed in between the gap of the door. The, so I've let it toe? Loop. Uh, yeah, the, you know, like the corner bit of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Somehow it was wide enough to catch his toe. <laughs> He's wearing slippers or some shit, yeah? So yeah. obviously I've let the door a bit loose and I've kicked it. Yeah. And it, and it, and it, and it, it took his toe. I, I see the move. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was mad still. What, yeah, his whole toe mad. come off? Yeah, his, uh, no, not his whole toe, but it just moved out of place. You could see in it. I think yeah. it, just, it, it, looked, it didn't look nice. <laughs> and then they took me, they, 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 then obviously they come out, then obviously they, they managed to get all the prisoners out of the way and then they let me out. I've come out like this. You get me? And then they obviously took me to the block. Yeah. There was this kid, yeah? He kept, me and him, obviously he's come down the block now. He's the same kid that was hitting me from behind while I was hitting his mate, yeah? He's come down the block, yeah? He's like to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, at first we was giving each other bare verbal. You get me through the doors, but then we got tired in it, yeah. Uh, and at the same time, we had a common enemy, which was the block staff. Okay. Because now we're down here, they're treating us like shit. They think we're just misbehaving prisoners. So we are like a common enemy. So now we're, we're kind of cool, but we never see each other anyway. Do you get it? Well, we're just chatting calmly out of the doors every time, innit? So then now the guys have come to me and said, Oh, do you want to go on to like um, another wing? Would you like to go on another wing? Obviously, these times my man's telling me next door, because now I know that the whole jail's on to me. So yeah. now my safety is not even a matter of fact that whether I'm on it or not. It's the fact that everywhere I go now, you're gonna get moved. Yeah, to. I'm gonna get moved to. So I'm freaking bruv. So this guy's told me out of the door, yeah, bruv. Because we, we we actually became cool with each other. Like we did it. That's what that's what I thought. We squashed it. That's, that's yeah. what he said. We squashed the beef. So obviously these times he was chatting to me. He was like, yeah, yeah, it's all blessed. It's all cool. Like don't worry about it. I'm like, all right, cool. So they offered me to go on the wing. But this is how you know this guy ran this jail, yeah? Because when I walked onto the wing and I was walking in with my new bags, yeah? I'm walking in with the gov. It was association at the time, innit? So everyone's out. The whole wing went quiet, bro. Everyone started whispering to each other in their ears. Like everyone knows. It's go time. Yeah, it's, go, like it's on, innit? These times, I didn't even tell the gov to even get me off the wing. I just went, this, ran upstairs, put my bags where the where the cell they told me I was located in, picked up a flask, ran downstairs, filled the flask, and stood on the landing. I thought, mate, if I'm gonna get taken, yeah, the, the first one's getting kettled, innit? The, basically, the first one's yeah. getting hot water, innit? I don't care which one it has to be. If you're all coming to rush me, someone's going down with me, innit, yeah? These times, yeah, this Marley Ute comes up to me. Now, this Marley Ute was in a jail with me previously where I was in Portland at the time and my boys were like kind of like running the jail. Like not running the jail, but there was loads of us in it. And they had a problem with him, but uh, they rushed him as well. But I was the one that squashed it. These were my friends. Mm -hmm. I told them, allow him, man, to get me. Come on, bro, we're all Muslims or Somalis. Like, don't, 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 don't do this to each other. These times, he's in the jail. He's come up to me and said, yo, my brother, like, a couple of men want to chat to you. No, the one you was trying to call me into the cell. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm, but there was a bag of them. I'm like, I'm not going in the cell. You're not dumb. Like, to save, if you guys want to rush me, rush me on the landing. Yeah? yeah. Otherwise, I'm not going in no cell. This you managed to persuade me. Yeah. Basically, he's managed to persuade me to come in. Into the, the cell. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the cell. And then I've walked in. The you is there. And then he's like, yo, boom, boom, boom. I'm, I'm explaining to him that your boy down the block has deaded the beef with me, bro. Like, that's So the big man's he, there, the guy in the vest is there? No, 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 not the guy in the vest. He's on, bro, he, would have, bro, he, would have been, he was on another wing. This okay, is a okay, wing. okay, a new wing. Yeah, right, that's yeah, right. Because yeah, yeah. this is how you run the whole job, you get what I'm saying? So I've gone into the cell and my man is there. Uh, this new you, but I've seen him about with them before. Do you get it? And he's there and he's like, yo, I'm telling him, bro, the, the, the beef is dead. He's like, let me call my guy in it, the one you said you deaded the beef with. My man's got a mash down the block. He's got a phone down the block. I'll call him right now. 
If he, if he, um, says the big squish, then the big squash, then it. I'm like, cool. Fuck, kid. Basically, my man, yeah. He's called, he's called my man. And he's like, he didn't even chat. He just went green light or not. It was straight up like that. Green light. Should I green light him or not? All I heard on the phone was, green light, green light, that bitch. Green light. Oh. My man's biting me. I've tried to push him. There's a youth behind me with this metal bar in his hand. Why? He's come out of nowhere. I don't even know who he looked like. He was moving mad as well, yeah? He's tried to like hit me with the bar. I've managed to move him out of the way. It's managed to slide. They're trying to pull me in all my life. I've pushed them all out. Because a couple of them, I could see they had they had things on them, bro. Oh, yeah? for I swear real? to God. I've tried to push them out of the way. I fought for my life here. Yeah? Got out of the cell. I've run down the staircase. These times I was thinking, Fuck. I got so angry. I tried to hot water on them from the floor. This is how you know these gloves never had the gel. Like, this is how unsafe this gel was. Yeah, yeah. I threw hot water blatantly on the landing, <laughs> trying to get one of them down. Missed. Yeah, they all started laughing like, ah, oh, you missed. They come back with hot water, try to throw it at me. They missed and hit. Um, people that were playing on the pool table, they started screaming, yeah? <laughs> no gloves to, to be seen nowhere. One gov came on and goes, is everything okay? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, it's all cool, it's all cool. And he's just walked off, yeah? So then now I'm thinking, F So I've gone into the laundry room, yeah? And then basically, obviously I had I had, I had some things, whatever. Basically I had like a, a couple of Kit Kats, yeah? Let's just say a couple of Kit Kat chocolate bars, yeah? I don't, I don't want to like hot my, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, basically I called a nitty in, yeah, into this room and I told him, I paid him with something, innit? Yeah, and I told him, yeah, to get this guy upstairs to come to the gate. Remember I told you, people come at the yeah, gate and they were like, so everyone's running around. I told him, listen, go upstairs and tell my man there's someone waiting for him at the gate. Yeah. So he's run down the staircase, but obviously he has to run past the laundry room. The gate is like here and the laundry room is here. But obviously yeah. I'm hidden and the gate is right here. He's come to the gate, he's turned around, confused. I've come out of the laundry room, just tapped him on the shoulder and hot watered him. The next minute, you know, they've all come, rushed me. Bob. Guys, have you been thinking of move to Dubai? I've partnered up with Cranbrook Legal to make your experience so much easier. Literally, I got the main man from Cranbrook Legal right now to tell you how easy it is. Guys, it's as simple as picking up the phone, giving us a call and letting us get on with the business. What, literally one phone call? Literally one phone call, a few documents and we're there. And then I just get up, fly to Dubai, and I ain't got to pay tax no more. Yeah, but you can come and see us. We'll take you out for a meal, show you Dubai, and then it's all up to you after that. Bro, where do I sign now? Imagine this. A guy that was in the wheelchair that I thought was disabled, yeah, got out of his wheelchair, took the wheel off his wheelchair, and started hitting me with it <laughs> while I was on the floor. <laughs> I swear down now bro, on everything, fam. Bro. He started licking me. <laughs> yeah. Bro. I don't even know where he, I thought he was disabled. <laughs> Fully on his feet. <laughs> everything is working. <laughs> I thought, no. Nah. I ended up getting punched up, everything, bro, yeah? Like, I didn't get away from this one. I was bleeding. That guy out. got the wheel, got out of his wheelchair. wheelchair. Took the wheel off his wheelchair <laughs> and started <laughs> licking me with it. The man. actual wheel? Yeah. This is how, uh, this is how, this is how smash he had on Joe. He was getting disabled people. <laughs> he took wheels off the wheelchairs and started beating me up with it, bruv. I was like, cool. So this time there, yeah, I'm like, all right. So I've, I've gone down the block, back to the block now. Yeah. All I heard was the biggest laughter from my man. <laughs> ah, you thought we did it to me? You mad, bro? This, this, that. I'm like, oh my god, man. Bro, but Gully, didn't you ever get scared, bro? That's the thing. At times, yeah, I had anxiety. Don't get it twisted because it's not. It's not. Obviously, I'm at the end of the day. Yeah, you get me. A lot of people suffer with mental health. Like I've been through so much things. Like you know, what I mean, I've been stabbed. I've had cancer. All of these things have happened to me. You so had cancer. Like, yeah, I had cancer when I was younger. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, oh. I, I was diagnosed with bladder cancer still. And obviously, all these things have left like scars in it, like yeah, mental health scars in it. So I've always suffered with PTSD. You know, I used to have quite a lot of panic attacks. You know, because of past experiences, you know, sometimes I thought I was dying and that, like my heart would beat so fast. And these would be just random moments. I would just get panic attacks. I never even knew what a panic attack was. I used to actually think I was having a heart attack. You know, it was embarrassing. I used to go to the hospital thinking I was dying and that, and they're telling me your heart rate is normal. Do you know how embarrassed I feel? Like, I'm just there panicking. Yeah, like, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. in the whole waiting room's watching. <laughs> <laughs> and then afterwards, they're like, oh, don't worry, it was just a panic attack. And I just thought, oh, bro, like, it, it's not, it's not something to like it was embarrassing to have those kind of attacks in it and not knowing the difference between that and obviously your health and that 
And obviously, get me just because a lot of things that have happened to me in my past have led me to have like certain mental health issues, in it. And that's why a lot of you lot have been seeing me on TikTok, and you lot have been talking about drinking and stuff like that. You know, these are things that man man struggle with. But alhamdulillah, Rabbi Dan has come now, so I'm doing well so far. And yeah, it's looking bright for me, and I feel much more happier than I did like before. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, let's go back to it. How long was you in prison for? So at that time, I think I was doing like a two and a half. Total, how long you spent inside? About six, seven, six, seven years. And the last 10. Oh, raw. Yeah, 10, 11. Yeah, I've done it quite a lot. Yeah, I was always in and out for some reason. There was times I went to jail like for things I never even done and then they end up releasing me. It's because, do you know what it is? I've breached my bail so many times for the most pettiest things ever, yeah? <laughs> things that you wouldn't even believe I've breached my bail for, yeah? Like what? I, like what? For example, I had I had bail for criminal damage. Yeah. Which I would have got a fine for. Somehow I forgot the court day. Yeah? So then boom. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh yeah, you're wanted now. And they'll come and like, um, Nick you know, Hugo. Come, yeah, yeah. And and it was just a, so what they knew was, yeah, this is what I believe. Generally, I believe this is how the system worked. Like I believed whatever they arrested me for, if it was serious enough, yeah. They would be like to the prosecution, this guy has breached his bail. Like if it's serious enough, but they didn't have enough evidence on. They just use your bail. As they will use the, my bail to get me charged because they think this guy will get remanded if this is serious enough, and we put this in front of a judge because it's the prosecution that decide to charge you. It's not. It's not the the judge or the uh, thing. Yeah, it's yeah. the prosecution. So if the prosecution take a special interest in you, you know what I mean. They can get you charged without evidence. That's what I generally believe. If you don't have a good bail history because then they can put you on remand. Because if they put a serious charge in front of a judge and then with the with the, bail. With the uh, bail thing, they can just get you charged like that and then probably get you remanded. But now I think that's all stopped now. I think, uh, do you know what I mean? But back then- When did you last get nicked? Um, well, I just come out last year. So April I came out on a recall and that recall was so dumb. I literally, bub, yeah. This is when I went viral uh, uh, on TikTok. Yeah. I went, um, I went, to, a ho I went to hospital. And because I was on, because um, I just come out, I was only out for like six, seven weeks. Yeah. I was on bare like conditions and that. And uh, hospital? Uh, I went to hospital because uh, basically I, I think, I, what happened? I got ill. I got really ill. Uh, um, and then I went to the hospital and then I, and then I got the hospital to call the, the, the hostel where I was living in to tell them that obviously this is where I am because it's gone past like 11 o'clock, which is yeah. my curfew time. Obviously, they told them, but what happened was because I was so dumb, I went to the car park and chilled there for a minute because they told me minimum when I got to wait for a doctor is four to five hours. So I, obviously, I've just gone, all right then. I've left and gone to the car park, just started chilling there because it was Saturday night and it was too many people in the waiting room and they were annoying me and I just left. And then obviously, the hostel kept ringing. Saying, is he there? Is he there? Is he there? Is he there? <laughs> nah. And the hospital has decided to discharge me. Once they put the discharge in, the recall came not long after that. Because obviously the hospital is now saying he is not here. So they've down now reported me as me breaching my my curfew and I got the whole year recall. I had to do one yeah, year. Do you know what it is, bro? I'll be honest with you. Yeah, from meeting you, I've met you twice now, yeah? yeah. You're funny. Well, You're funny you. as fuck. Like real talk. So everything you say just makes me laugh, I'll yeah, be honest, yeah. yeah. I know. Why was it always just, why was you always in beef in prison? Yeah, I know, it was problems, bro. Like, bro, every story is, oh, he popped my nose here, yeah, yeah. punch me up here. <laughs> like, bro. Days, bro. You know what I've clocked here? Prison, nowadays, I don't know what Joel's like, and it like, I, I think it's gone, I'll be honest, I think it's gone soft, yeah. The last time, the last couple of times I've been there, it's been like, do you know what I mean? It's not. But back then, it was very dangerous prison. Like, very, very, very dangerous, where, you know, I, I've been beat up by govs. Like, I've been racially abused by prison officers. Like, I don't really want to go into all of that, but I will tell you this from now, yeah? There were some racist, racist officers back then, because back then, we're talking about 2012, 2013 and that, yeah? And, like, these cops, they, they, they just, do you know what I mean? Like, they, they, they beat the out of me, bro. Like, actual beat the out of me. For me down. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, because obviously, I was a little prick, I'm not going to lie, but, I, like, I didn't know how it worked, innit? The first time I got bent up, I didn't even know what the going on like I just thought what because obviously I'm, I got angry um, grabbed the officer pinned him on the wall he's then pushed his button I'm going what's that I can hear bare noise I'm like what did you just do yeah I've turned I've just seen one hench guy running here <laughs> <Yeah, so prison laughs> lifted me boom 
All of them came stamping on me, buying to me, throwing me off the staircase, took me all the way to the block, beat the hell out of me, stamped my head, punched me up, everything. I'm bleeding. I got beat up worse than them by ops. I've been caught by ops, yeah? yeah. And I've been rushed in it, yeah? They beat me up worse than that. And Did they beat you up more than that big guy who dashed you through the car? Nah, nothing's going to get bigger than that. Still, I'm not going to lie. Because that was from car bonnet Bro, to car bonnet. That, that story right there, yeah. I swear to God, I'll never forget it. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He's, do you know what it was, yeah? At least with that, I could have went back home and used the tap waters to wash my blood and all of this. Like, they put me in a cell where there's no water. But why don't we set up a boxing match? You versus the big guy. Who, um, I know his name, Ben Anthony. Yeah, so why don't we set I'll up never a, forget your name, bro. Why don't we set a boxing match up between you and him? Oh, me and Ben Anthony? Yeah. Now, I have to see what he looks like first now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to check. Bro, how big was he? Tell us, tell us, tell, no, tell us what he looked like. huge, bro. Put it this way. He was basically Jay Moss, innit? And he picked yeah, you up yeah, and yeah. dashed you, yeah? Yeah, basically, yeah. He, 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 bro. bro, the first time he lifted me, I thought my friend was running for me, but he was running from him and I couldn't see him. So I'm running after my mate because he's got my phone and I thought he was pu pulling a little prank on me. I found myself in mid-air. Like, you know, like how you dash the basketball, like that. That's basically what you've done to my head, bruv. Woof, boom, hit the car bonnet. You know what I'm saying? It was nuts, man. And obviously Bro, what I, I did was horrible as well. I'm not going to lie. But I had to do it because I felt like his... What, when I hit him with the brick, bruv, I reckon his 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 punch was probably as strong heavy, as the as brick. Strong as the brick, yeah. Well, he was that strong? Yeah, he was, he was a big guy. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, you know what it is, bruv? Now I'm a grown man. I'm 28 years old. I don't actually know because when you're a kid, like I was only 14, 15. Yeah, he was a kid. Yeah, man. yeah. So, so the way I probably looked at him, he probably wasn't as big as I, I imagined still got him. in my head as. You know what I'm saying? He could, he could turn out to be, but he was, he was actually quite warm, yeah. And obviously, we touched on a story on another podcast, which I'm not sure if it's out yet, but you went to a brother's birthday party. Oh, uh, yeah. Talk us through that story if people ain't seen it already. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the first time I met my guy, you guys are going to see who I just co-hosted. Um, yeah, so basically I walked into... The first time I met him, I was gassed in it because he's quite famous, this guy. And obviously, man just got yacked with him. I got drunk. I started jumping up around the place, just running around the place, not caring about nothing. Video but, here. Yeah. Where's the video? The video's going to be somewhere here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to send me the video. I'm going to put it here, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where's the video? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, what do you mean, where's yeah, the video? The video up, like, this, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna, you guys are going to laugh at it when you see this video, innit, yeah? And then um, I posted it anyway, but... Um, yeah, so I've left that club. And I've gone off with... Because um, obviously, I think it ended or we just left there to go to a next club. And when I walked in there, I generally can't remember what happened, yeah? Because obviously, this is what I'm trying to say, bro. Alcohol is not a good thing because it messed up my memory. I know I must have said something serious because the way everyone was grabbing me and the way they were all looking at me, yeah? Was like I, I, it's like I dissed someone's magic. I, I, I don't, I don't know in it, but it was like I said something out of line, like across certain lines. Yeah, yeah. So, the, but the thing is, obviously, they dashed me out of the club, and then the guy come over. He tried to act cool to my guy, and my guy told him, yo, yo, like he's just a kid, boy. He's drunk, man. Just leave him alone, like do you know what I mean. And my mom said, yeah, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. You know, have you ever watched the Brotherhood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 man, it's best, it's best. I swear, no, it's cool. Cool. Nah, I'm not saying it went like that, but it was, it was, and then he come up to me and just gave me a quick one, innit? And then obviously my eyes just went white, innit? What do you mean a quick one? What did you do? He headbutted me, innit? Well, I think it was a headbutt anyway. It might your nose again, yeah? Yeah, yeah, boom. Yeah, nose broken again. Yeah. <laughs> no, this time it didn't break. It was just blood that just come out. I know. It's violations, man. <laughs> so why didn't you smash him up, bro? No, because by the time my eyes clicked, because obviously I got angry. I'm not going to lie, I'm drunk, innit? So anything could have happened. I'm glad that my eyes actually went white. You know, it's like God kind of saved me because obviously I heard rumors about Do you reckon you could have had him? If I did, I, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Oh, for real? What, you yeah, serious guy? Yeah, yeah, I probably... That's, that's what I found out after. So I'm glad it was just ended like that, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, sometimes you got to take responsibility for your own actions as well. Like, I ain't no pussy, but sometimes you just got to be like one of them guys. If you hold on to grudges and hold on to hate and all of this kind of stuff, you're not going to live a good life, bro. Do you know what I mean? What's the most... Bear a bit to be a bigger man. Huh? What's the most recent drama you've been in? Um, now nah, madnesses, man. There's hella madnesses right now, but... um. I'll be honest with you guys right now, like with the situations that happened, like with the prison, me coming out, obviously I've been out for how long now? A year now. Yeah, so for a year, my life has been completely different. Like I honest to God, my life has been- Better? Completely, yeah, because, well, I'll be honest with you, yeah, talking on a religious type of point, I remember crying in my cell 
one time, loss of hope. I've sp- well, you got to remember is I spent so many years in prison where it broke me completely. Like, I didn't know what outside life was anymore. Do you get it? Like, when I came out, I was so depressed. Like, even after like a month or two, I couldn't get used to people, you know what I mean? Every time I was coming out, you know, things were different. People were different. It was hard for me to try to adapt to all of that. So, yeah, I used drugs and drink to get through it and stuff. Do you get what I mean? But when I saw, when when I was in jail and I broke down, I actually cried to God, didn't it? I cried to Allah and I said, Allah, like, please, like, I will stop selling drugs. I will actually stop doing everything. Yeah, just help me and give me something, innit? And next thing you know, people started recording me and myself. <laughs> and these videos just started going viral. Next minute, you know, people are stopping me on the road. So it's like, yo, do you know what I mean? I don't know what's gonna happen in a year's time. I could be in a way better position than I'm in now. Like, it's looking bright, innit, right now, my future, innit? So I'm happy with what God has given me. And yeah, and bro, I, bro don't get it twisted. Like, don't think like man's up. Like, a lot of, like, I've been through some struggles. I had to borrow money from family and stuff like that to survive because at the end of the day, like, you know, I'm not, I told God that I'm not going back to that. Simple, isn't it? I'm not going back to that. And I've, I've those times, bro, I ain't even got like two pound in my pocket, bro. And there's people like, I know that I can go to and easily get back up on my feet and be all of this and that. But the feds don't make me, the feds don't scare me. I've never been scared of the feds. I didn't even actually care, like, you know, but that's not the reason why I haven't gone back to crime. It's not because of the police and me not breaking the law and stuff like that. It's because of Allah. That, I swear down now, that is the only thing that makes me fear in my heart. It's because I made a promise to God and I'm, and I'm trying to keep that promise. Even though I do other things that I haram, yeah, which I don't advise anyone to do because it, bro, it just makes me feel like when I do haram things. It actually does. It just makes me feel like shit. But uh, that is one thing that I would never go back to. Because of the promise. Yeah, that's a promise you made, bro. That's, yeah. what, that's all that matters. Yeah, as long as you're sticking to it, innit? Yeah. No one can judge what else you're doing. Yeah, no, 100, man. But listen, yeah. on a more funny note, you yeah. decided to get involved in some TikTok drama. Yeah, yeah. You had a boxing match lined up. Yeah. Who was your boxing match with? Um, Kibsey still. Ooh. Yeah, the fight's still happening. We just, we don't know when the date is. <laughs> but it's good. we're both training as well, so it's looking... You yeah. had some drama with Ed Matthews as well. Oh, you seen it? Yeah, I heard about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you phoned me and told me. I was yacked at it, huh? You phoned me and told me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was yacked. Um, oh, bro, it was just, like, basically, it was just some situation that happened. And, yeah, my man tried to say I smell of B.O. or something. <laughs> and I, I was just like, bro, obviously, um, some chick I was chatting to must have just deleted me off Snap because of it. Um, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. You missed a very vital part. You phoned me up and said... <laughs> Oh, but some girl I really like, man. Like, you know, I really like this one, man. Oh, she deleted me. Nah, you, no. forgot, you forgot that part. Uh, I really liked her. Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah, obviously, you get me. Uh, it was, you know, at the time, you think you like someone, but then, you know what I'm saying? Like, days go by and you're like. So you did, she did, it was like lust. You just thought you liked yeah, her. Yeah, I liked her. Because yeah. you sounded bare upset, bro. I'm not even trying to violate. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. sounded hurt. Yeah, I sounded hurt. Like, I remember hurt. you made that TikTok video. You were. You were. Yeah. Pfft, I know, I know. And you know what it is? I think she was angry about something I don't really want to talk about. I think she was more angry about the situation that I was involved, like in as yeah, well, yeah. To, to do with it as well. Obviously, people probably know what was going on. And yeah, so it was like that. And yeah, I mean, I can't, brother, I, I felt kind of, because I woke up the next day and I saw the video. It just came up randomly on my full you page. I was like, flipping hell, man. Are you, you and Ed Matthews got beef? I don't know. I don't know. Do we? I, I don't know. Shit. I don't know. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay, but basically, yeah, if you're still upset with what I said, because I did say some bad things. What did you say? I think I called him a dusty you, something like that, yeah. So, yeah. So, but basically, if you still obviously are holding <laughs> any feelings against me for that, Ed Matthews, if I win the fight, which I will, yeah, against Kibsey, then obviously we can go on Misfits, innit? Well, you want to you know. fight Ed Matthews? No, no, but if he's still got a problem. Yeah, but let's say he does. Do you reckon you smash him up? If they gave me a few months to train... Cause yeah. he he's he boxes, isn't it? Yeah, he actually does it for a living, isn't it? I don't know if he does it for a living. But if I beat, if I win against him, he has to end it, like the whole. Yeah, but thing. he lost his last fight, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, he fell on the judges' table, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that was peak. Bro. He was checking the scorecards. Yeah, that's mad. I seen that still. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was peak, yeah. So do you reckon you do the same to him? Nah, not the, not the judges' table. I'll probably just uh, you know in, you know what they used to do in the ring, and the whole ring would collapse. Yeah, yeah, them ones. Yeah, yeah. You reckon you pop his nose? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like the whole wing would probably collapse <laughs> on him. Yeah, they don't want me in the wing, man. They don't want me in the wing. 
Bro, but can you? But you can't do your wrestling moves. You got to box him. Yeah, yeah, all of that, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon you'll punch him up proper? Real talks, like, what round? I think, do you know what it is? Give me him in the ring in a UFC fight. Not in, UFC, MMA. In an MMA fight. Yeah? Yeah. Couple months of training, I think, yeah, I could have him, yeah, in UFC. But he's been boxing longer than me. But I I, but I've, I don't even box. But MMA say. fight, so look, let's, let's, let's put this out here right now, yeah? You versus Ed Matthews, MMA fight. What round would you win? MMA fight? Yeah. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> hey, you lot know about my thing, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's done, he's done. How, how long? Yeah, yeah, bro. He will get something that he won't expect coming to him. Like what? Randomly. It will just come out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows what I'm going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that. Well, you that. just finish him off, done. Yeah, done. Yeah. Oh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He because he he reminds me of myself, innit? Like he 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 just tries to rush into something, innit? So, yeah. And sometimes it works for him, and obviously that time it didn't, innit? To get me, so he's just like everyone else, to be honest. Sure. Quick thing, round one, quick done. Thing, yeah, done. If that's if that's if he accepts the MMA fight, innit? What if he wants boxing? Well, what's the rules in MMA? You can do everything, can't it? Yeah, well, yeah, 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 obviously, yeah. like, there's obviously some rules, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, MMA, But what yeah. would you do to him? How would well, you, you have to give me at least two, three months, and I reckon I would, I would win. I reckon I would win. Yeah, two, three months, but I'd have to, like, take it serious. And how would you knock it? Well, you knock him out? Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they have to have, like, power medics <laughs> on standby. I'm, like, at least, like, four ambulances. <laughs> four ambulances? Yeah. Four? Yeah, because obviously people that care about him might go into like panic mode. They need a couple, <laughs> <laughs> couple on their side, a couple paramedics. Yo, on their Ed side. Matthews, if you're hearing this, my bro, <laughs> look, the offer's there. Blue tick show official. Uh, yeah. Funny man, Gully versus Ed Matthews MMA fight. Do you accept the offer? Yes or no? Simple as, bro. Yeah, you can't ignore this as well, isn't it? It's, it's going to be everywhere. It's going to be on the phone. Right? It makes sure everyone puts this on the phone. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't. Bro, I never... At least give me a reply or response in it. That's what we need in it. Because I'm not going to lie to you. MMA is a sport that I always liked in it, so I would like to try it at least once in life. Innit? Against him, yeah, yeah, he would be a best guy. Like, because you know, it's like I, I seen the way he talks, I seen the way he moves, and he acts. Yeah, I think like he needs to get into an MMA ring. Who do you, who else do you reckon you could do out there in MMA? Like at the TikTok. Thing? If I actually took MMA serious, yeah, with the techniques and the skills that man know, yeah. This was but you can't have AK. Bro, you can't carry. You, you can't carry AK forty seven into the ring. No, no, no. I wouldn't do that. But you know what I'm saying. Obviously, if I'm losing, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Like, I'm not gonna lose it. It's gonna be a disqualification. But, but <laughs> <laughs> why? What happens? If, what, what happens if you're losing? What's gonna happen? I don't know, blood. But I'm not going down. They're gonna say disqualification. I always tell myself, yeah, disqualification. <laughs> it's gonna be a disqualification. I walk out the way. Squad. Out of the other TikTok boys, you, you what? You got any problems with anyone else? Nah, not really. I'm just trying to keep it humble with everyone. I think like, do you know what it is? I've seen a lot of like TikTok dramas and all that. And I just reckon like, it's uh, like the best way to do is just try to stay positive um, and be like humble in it in a way. Because, you know, a lot of people are just trying to clout chase nowadays. And it, yeah. And bruv, they're just saying absolutely anything on the internet just to get views now. It's absolutely disgusting. The man. thing is with you, you're very natural with it as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think you, one thing I give you credit for is you're, you're naturally funny. Yeah, yeah, safe. You're not going on there trying to say this and that, trying to be someone. Yeah, yeah. You are naturally just a funny guy. Yeah, no, 100, yeah, safe for that, man. No, listen, it's, it's facts, isn't it? I'm yeah, not, I'm no, not. Yeah, no, bless, man. But what's, what's going on? Let's let's wrap this up a little bit. What's what's going on in your future? Future, I'm, I'll, I'll be honest with you right now, the things that are happening for me now, I feel like I'm at a stage now where it's like, the ice is kind of breaking a little bit. I'm starting to get noticed and recognised a bit more. I'm starting to hang out with people that are well known, you yeah, know, yeah. all over the internet. So people, and when you, obviously, like you said, when you've got something about you, it's hard to, for people to unnotice you. And Definitely. Once they notice you, that's it. So I'm happy with that. And I'm glad that I got quite a lot of views on the part one. Yeah, you that was it, amazing. And I hope that like, I get something on this as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Well, like I said, bro, we're doing, I, I announced it, we're doing a four-part episode with Funny Man Gully. He's going to co-host four episodes. So comments, go in the comments, tell us who you want him to co-host with. Maybe even Ed Matthews. Yeah. Maybe um, even we do an episode, me and you co-hosting an episode with him. Yeah. But let the comments decide. Go to the people you want I'm us to- I'm not like, who I would love to co-host oh, with God. this more deep. We'll make it happen, yeah, inshallah. Yeah, I love that, bro. I said they got the but what do you think, what, what, what you think of Modine? But I think he's an amazing human being, man. I'll be honest with you, like, obviously, if he's watching this, I'll tell you the truth, bro. Man got love for you, innit? Like, a lot of people don't understand this. Like, my man's got certain things 
that's do you know what I'm saying like about him that people would find straight away understandable yeah you know he has certain beliefs what about some of the things he says are a bit mad that in the day when people talk about religion yeah. you know, to this guy this guy prays five times a day so leave that between him and God because a man that doesn't pray you can question him yeah. and be like yo you're not a Muslim why are you talking why are you talking rubbish about Muslims this guy I've seen this guy literally when he's not talking to, but there's a group of loads of these famous people in this event one time he's not even chatting to no one I go up to him he's just standing there on his own reading the Quran or he's reading du'as and he's just going ah. he be, like people don't know this when he's off camera he's fully just about his religion like you know and that's what I rate about him and that's what I respect in it. Like Modine's a funny fucker. Yeah, bro. yeah, and he's funny as well, yeah. But yeah. I think you and Modine gotta do some sort of collab, bro. Yeah, no, hundred. I yeah. reckon that'd be big for social media. In it, yeah, it'd be nuts though. I haven't actually done anything with him yet. But when he comes back, hopefully we can do some things, yeah. Make it happen. Yeah, man. My bro, yeah. anything else you wanna to say to the people out there watching? Yeah, rubber down Kareem to everyone, man. Keep fasting, keep doing good, man. This month is a really holy month. Cut anything that, even if you're not fasting, try not to do one bad thing at least this month or something that you know that's serious, as a serious sin. Try, cut it off. You know, it's all about, you know, working closer to God, you know. They say if you walk to uh, Allah, Allah runs to you. And if you run to Allah, he comes to you like the speed of light. So remember that. Yeah. Well, listen, my brother. Pleasure having you on the show yeah, again. Thank you very much, guys. Bro. If you enjoy, listen, we smashed five k likes. What are we going for this time? Not fifty, innit? No, bro. Fifty k likes. Ah, right, say no more. Five again, innit? So five, no, 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 no. We have gotta say ten. Oh, no, oh my god. And what are we giving them? If you can't, if they get ten k likes, what are they getting? Madnesses. Yeah, oh, yeah. Part three is gonna be madness. I'm holding three fingers back, you know. I'm trying to let you know, drag yeah. it out. Right, of cool. yeah. Listen, we'll make, we'll make it fair for the people. Ten thousand likes. Yeah. You ask the questions. As viewers, 10,000 likes, I'll go through the top comments and I'll put them here and ask, I'll ask him whatever you want. Yeah? Yeah. yeah no on. limits. Yeah, come Whatever. On. We can ask about the girl that left you. Yeah, yeah. We can ask about it all. Yeah, 100. Deal? Yeah, we're we here. We're here, man. Done. Done. Guys, make sure you smash the like button. We'll see you on the next episode. Thank you. Bye.